We've got a travel corridor here. We're not cutting firewood. He's gonna cut everything in the woods down. I'm gonna have to watch him. It's the end of July. We're getting prepped for deer season. So that means uh, clearing some shooting lanes. I like to get this stuff done early. I had a company send me a little product I wanna try out. So let's see what we've got. Four inch portable cordless electric chainsaw. We've got a 20 volt battery here. And of course, we've got the little mini chainsaw. This thing, when I first seen it, I thought, man, this thing's gonna, just gonna be a bunch of crap, is what I thought. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. This thing is built pretty good. I mean, it's a lot heavier than what you would think it is. Um, also inside of here, we have a couple of tools that come with it so you can tighten your chain and stuff. And then this little thing of oil. Um, now there's not really a slot to uh, put the oil in, so we'll oil up that chain a little bit. So let's take this thing out here and uh, I'm gonna cut out a few trails. We're gonna see how well this does. So let's get with it. Let's see what this thing can do. Get ready to use it. There's a safety button right here on the side. I need to remove some of this stuff so that I have a, a clear lane down through here. So we're gonna make about a 30 or 40 yard trail right down through here. So we'll cut off some of these limbs. And we'll cut down some of these saplings here and we'll probably hinge cut them and let them fall over to make some ground clearance. That way they're not using the trail to walk on. I want them to be crossing like this when they come through. Drop that one on me. So you can see that, that gives me a lane over the top of it there. So we'll just hinge cut them and let them go. I don't want them walking right up to the stand. So we hinge cut it to create a barrier, but something that I can shoot over. And then the deer will walk on the trail going that way and I'll catch them broadside. It's kind of the trick. So that worked out pretty good. That's it, that quick. And uh, we're gonna cut this out right here. Get that vine out of the way. I'll tell you what, it is a pruning saw, folks. We're not cutting firewood, but I'm gonna tell you, you can strap that thing on you and get right down through the woods with it and uh, make quick work out of this stuff. I think I'm gonna like this. I'll tell you what, Connor's gonna have fun with this thing. He's gonna cut everything in the woods down. I'm gonna have to watch him. It says, do not cut wood, which is more than four inches. Do not overpress the machine when cutting. Remember, it's not in use for a long time, fully charge and then store it. So basically they're telling you nothing over four inches with this thing, all right? and don't put a lot of weight on it. And that's with any chainsaw. You, want, you don't wanna put a lot of pressure. If your chain is dull, um, you need to sharpen it. Now, I cut trees for, for a living for a long time. Um, and I'm telling you right now, sharpen your chains. That's, what, that's what's gonna be beneficial for you. And know the limitations of your tools. Nothing over four inches with this thing. It is a four inch pruning saw, basically. This is electric chainsaw. It is a battery operated pruning saw, basically. So. This is just, this is more of a convenience deal, but I'm gonna tell you, the amount of time it took me to cut that trail out was a lot less than if I had a pair of loppers or a, a saw that I had to use by hand. And it's not gonna be hard to carry. I can throw this in a backpack, right? And I can walk down through the woods and I see something I wanna trim, I can trim it. Now the instructions on this say nothing bigger than four inches. I'm gonna say looking at it, probably nothing over about three inches is gonna be ideal. Four inches, if you have to now this right here is just an elm tree and these elms are pretty tough wood there we go timber so you can see it cut that down pretty good and that's going to be the standard stuff that we're going to be uh cutting out and you can see it uh, it whacked through it really good. 
So I'm pretty impressed with this thing. We've got a travel corridor here for these deer to come through. And uh, we're getting this stuff cut now. But you can see right through here, these deer travel right through here when they come through they'll uh be able to eat these green tops and stuff while they're in here so we're gonna cut a couple more things i do want to try something that's around the four inch mark just to see what happens um this is a gum so Pretty tall. That's about 40 foot tall. <laughs> a gum sample. Man, that just ate right through that gum. And I did oil this up pretty good and I got the oil in my pocket. But just to show you, it's about a four inch gum right there. And that thing ate through it. So, really impressed. And I'll tell you right now, I get people sending me stuff all the time or trying to send me stuff. And I do have four or five different items that I'm going to try out. Um, some of the stuff I bought myself, this was sent to me by Saker. And I'm going to tell you right now, um, I've seen similar products at Walmart from brands that I know are not quality brands and they're pretty expensive and they're pruning saws. If, um, if you've got trees, bushes, different things like that around your home, perfect item. So that's what we cut with this. And, and that's as big as you want to cut. That's about a four inch diameter tree, but it ate right through it. If you're looking for a, uh something to help you with your um, your prep for deer season I, I, I'm gonna tell you right now this is I, I like this thing I mean I'm really looking forward to uh, saving myself some time with this and I know Connor my son um, he is really gonna enjoy having this thing so we'll get it charged up and we're gonna have quite a few shoot lanes that we need to get um, cleared out appreciate you watching go check it out